Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will solve four very interesting problems based on Gauss's law of electric field. Before I start with my solution, I want you to try those questions first. Later you can check for the solution in this video itself. So freeze the video and try it by your own. This is question number one. This is question number two. Freeze the video and try it by your own. This is question number three. And this is last question of this video. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now let us begin this video with solution of first problem. Before I start with solution of first question, I would like to give you one advice. Every time you should plot the situation with given question. That will improve your problem solving skills. So here along with the question, I will be plotting situation as well. See in question one, concentric spherical shells of radius 2 meter, 4 meter and 8 meter carry uniform surface charge densities of 20 nanocoulomb per meter square minus 4 nanocoulomb per meter square and rho s respectively. So we have three different spheres, right? And with those spheres, we have been given with surface charge densities. The value of rho s required to ensure that the electric flux density d is equals to 0 at 10 meter is how much? So with the sphere of 10 meter radius, this value of d that is 0. So let me plot the situation first. See here what is given. We have been given with three different spherical shells. The first shell that is having radius of 2 meter and that shell is having surface charge density of 20 nanocoulomb per meter square. Second shell that is having radius of 4 meter and this radius is having surface charge density of minus 4 nanocoulomb per meter square and third sphere that is having radius of 8 meter and with this sphere surface charge density is rho s and with outermost sphere which is having radius of 10 meter so here one can see we have outermost sphere that is having radius of 10 meter and with this sphere electric flux density d is 0 so what is the value of rho s that is the question to solve this, you need to apply Gauss's law of electric field. Gauss's law of electric field states that for enclosed surface, electric flux that is equals to charge enclosed. So here we have outermost sphere that is enclosed surface and total electric flux that is charge enclosed over here. And for this situation, D is 0. If D is 0, what it means? If this D is 0, then you can say charge enclosed that is 0. So here we need to understand what is this charge enclosed with this outermost sphere that is having radius of 10 meter. So here we have three different spheres you can observe. Let us say with this first sphere charge is Q1, with this second sphere charge is Q2, with this third sphere charge is Q3, right. So algebraic sum of these three charges that is 0 that is given. Now what is charge? By surface charge density, charge is surface charge density into area. So Q1 that is surface charge density that is 20 nano coulomb per meter square into area of this 2 meter sphere. Area of 2 meter sphere that is 4 pi r square here r is 2 square right what is q2 q2 is charge of this second sphere with radius 4 meter that is having surface charge of minus 4 nano coulomb per meter square so minus 4 nano coulomb per meter square into area area of this 4 meter sphere that is 4 pi into r square where r is 4 square right plus Q3 that is charge of this third sphere which is having radius 8 meter that is having surface charge of rho s into area of this third surface that is 4 pi r square where r is 8 meter over here means 8 square and that is equals to 0. 
Now here I will not consider nano coulomb per meter square. I will say this rho s is there in terms of nano coulomb per meter square. Right. See this 4 pi that is getting cancelled. That is getting cancelled. Right. And that is getting multiplied with 0. So now we need to simplify this further. So 20 into 2 square means it is 80 minus 4 into 4 square so 16 into minus 4 that is minus 64 and 8 square means 64 into rho s right so that is how we can further simplify this see this will be on other side it will be minus 16 right so rho s is minus 16 divided by 64 means it is minus 1 by 4 nano coulomb per meter square that one can say. So rho s value that has to be minus 0 0.25 nano coulomb per meter square for this particular question. Right. So this is how we can solve this type of question. Let us move on to second interesting problem now. This second question is based on Maxwell's first equation. And one should know Maxwell's first equation is based on Gauss's law of electric field. Let me read the question. See here in question, which of the following equations represent the Gauss's law in a homogeneous isotropic medium? So here we have four different equations and from equation directly you can say option A is correct. But one should know what are the equations which is there with Gauss's law of electric field. See, as per Maxwell, here with Gauss's law of electric field, there are two equations. One is there in form of integral form and second is there in form of differential form or point form. So, first of all, I will explain you equation in integral form. In integral form, electric flux passing through enclosed surface that is total charge and if you have volume charge density, then volume integration of volume charge density is total charge. So this is integral form. This form can also be represented in form of electric field. For electric field, flux will be surface integration of electric field for enclosed surface that is 1 by epsilon naught into charge where charge is volume integration of volume charge density. So here you can observe this equation that is given to us and if you talk about point form that is also known as differential form. Point form is del dot d that is equals to rho v and in form of electric field it is del dot e that is equals to rho v by epsilon naught. Right. So there are two forms of Gauss's law with Maxwell's equation, here option A is correct one. I hope you have understood how equations are there with Maxwell's first equation. Now I'll explain you third interesting problem of this video. This third question covers many interesting fundamentals of geometry. Let me explain that by plotting situation. So here we have two point charges, Q1 of 10 micro coulomb and Q2 of 20 micro coulomb and these two charges are placed at coordinates 1 1 0 and minus 1 minus 1 0 respectively. So these two charges those are placed in xy plane. Here Q1, Q1 that is of 10 micro coulomb that is placed at 1 1 0 coordinate right and Q2 that is of 20 micro coulomb that is placed at minus 1 minus 1 0 coordinate right we need to find the total flux passing through a plane of z is equals to 20 so here we need to identify flux passing through a plane of z is equals to 20 and to calculate this we need to understand gauss's law and gauss's law is applicable to enclosed surface only so here what I'll do is, I'll consider enclosed surface. Here we have only one surface for which we need to find the flux. Like if you observe, here we have one plane. Let us say this is the plane that is z is equals to 20. 
but Gauss's law is applicable to enclosed surface only. So what I'll do is I will consider other surfaces as well. Like this is Z is equals to 20. This bottom is having Z is equals to minus 20. This is front. This is back. Then left and right. That is how surfaces will be there. Right. So here let me consider four surfaces. You can observe. Right. And this is now enclosed surface. This is top surface. This top surface that is having Z is equals to 20. This is bottom surface that is having Z is equals to minus 20. Right. Now we have front surface, back surface, right surface and left surface. Right. So here first of all let us apply Gauss's law of electric field. See as per Gauss's law of electric field, total flux passing through enclosed surface that is charge enclosed inside. So here we need to understand what is total flux. See here total flux that is there because of six different surfaces. Right. Let us consider this is front. So here I am writing phi f. Here we have back. So I am writing phi b. Here we have right. So I am writing phi r. Here we have left. So I am writing phi l. Here we have top and top is associated with z is equals to 20. So I am writing z 20. And then here we have bottom that is having z is equals to minus 20. So I am writing phi of minus 20 that is equals to total charge enclosed over here that is 20 micro plus 10 micro. So in total it will be 30 micro. Now here there are a few basics that you need to understand. See if you consider enclosed surface this is top surface z is equals to 20. This surface is having infinite dimensions. This surface is having infinite dimensions. Right. Just for plotting I have plotted like it is how it that is how it is happening but it is having infinite dimensions. But obviously bottom is also having infinite dimensions. If top and bottom is having infinite dimensions then this dimensions front, back, right, left. So that is having negligible dimensions. So flux passing through front, back, right, left that is having zero flux that one can say. Right. So here T with front, back, right and left total flux that will be zero over here. With this total flux will be zero as this z is equals to 20 and z is equals to minus 20 that is having infinite dimensions right and one should know c total flux because of z 20 and z minus 20 both are equal right both are equal so as both are equal here solution is quite simple you can say phi 20 two times that will be equals to 30 micro coulomb. So you can say phi 20 means flux passing through z is equals to 20 that is 15 micro coulomb. So our correct option over here that is C. Right. So that is how by using Gauss's law of electric field we can identify the solution. So you need to understand the geometry as well. Now I'll explain you last question of this video. This question 4 is quite interesting and it is based on electric potential and Gauss's law for electric field. Let me explain the question first. See here we have hollow metallic sphere of radius small r is kept at a potential of 1 volt. So we have one metallic sphere which is having radius small r that is kept at a potential of 1 voltage. So you can observe here we have radius small r and this sphere that is there at 1 voltage. Right. The total electric flux coming out of concentric spherical surface of radius r which is greater than small r is how much? So here we have second surface and that surface is having radius which is greater than this small r. Right. So here you can observe we have second surface that is having radius capital R 
बट ऑब्वियसली इट इज ग्रेटर देन स्मॉल आर एंड थ्रू दिस सरफेस हाउ मच फ्लक्स इज कमिंग आउट दैट इज द क्वेश्चन तो वन शुड नो द गॉसिस लॉ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एज पर गॉसिस लॉ टोटल फ्लक्स दैट इज चार्ज एनक्लोज ओवर हियर राइट टोटल फ्लक्स दैट इज चार्ज एनक्लोज ओवर हियर नाउ यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड सी हाउ मच चार्ज इज एनक्लोज ओवर हियर राइट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मच चार्ज इज एनक्लोज बाई दिस सर्फेस सो टू अंडरस्टैंड चार्ज एनक्लोज हियर वी हैव बीन गिवन विथ पॉटेंशियल ऑफ वन वोल्टेज सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज पॉटेंशियल सी पॉटेंशियल वी दैट इज के क्यू बाय डिस्टेंस आर पॉटेंशियल वी दैट इज के क्यू बाय डिस्टेंस आर राइट एंड वन शुड नो सी पॉटेंशियल दैट इज गिवन दैट इज ऑफ वन वोल्टेज के इज वन बाय फोर बाय एप्सिलॉन नॉट क्यू डिवाइड बाय स्मॉल आर तो हियर चार्ज ओवर हियर दैट इज फोर बाय एप्सिलॉन नॉट स्मॉल आर राइट तो हियर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व charge is 4 pi epsilon not small r over here on this small sphere and that is what total flux right so you can observe here option a that is correct one over here so one should know what is potential in future coming videos i'll be deriving equations of potential as well but basic equation that one should know it is k q by r and based on potential you can identify charge and from the enclosed charge one can identify flux based on gauss's law of electric field i hope you have enjoyed this session till if anything that i like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video